on YouTube, it's James with Shyhammer Fantasy Battle Report. I got another battle report for you today. It is Wicked GT round number four. Guys, welcome back for another video. Um, all right, so if you guys have been catching up, my whole first day at Wicked GT was a fucking massive success. I was just slaughtering, I killed um, Austin, then I killed uh, I think his name was Wes. Wesley. Well, I, I did Wesley King. Um, who's the second guy? Jesus Christ, why do I keep forgetting the second guy? I'll find out in two seconds. Uh, Walter. It was a W name. But, uh, yeah, so I, I had three big wins against KOE, against Empire, and against Dwarves. Now it's my first time where I'm fighting somebody who's not a humanoid style uh, creature. It's the beast of the beast herds. So I show up to the battlefield and this is what it looks like. I am dead serious. This is exactly what it looks like. There is nothing on the table except for one unit of beasts. And granted, Kenyon was really, really upset that I'm playing him because he knew that this battle report was coming out with his gray themed army. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he deployed behind the, the the forest there and that's it it's just that one unit and the dogs that's it everything else in his army ambushes dead serious everything else in his army ambushes um, and then we're also playing uh, Dawn Assault so I don't get the right corner of the table which is fine I'm not going to use the right corner of the table but uh, let's go over magic really quick for magic he ended up taking the H spell on his um, beast he also has Oaken Throne Healing Water Stone Skin and Summer Growth um and awaken the beast on shamanism <clears throat> um that's deployment uh part of my thought process here was have the k-pack protecting doom the uh, doom diver uh the other doom divers on the other side of my general but uh, i have the pyromancy on that side and if he wants to pop up on the right side there ain't really much on the right side to deal with period so i can just walk away from most of his stuff um and then I'm going to vanguard my dogs where the dogs are just basically going to protect my left flank so he doesn't pop on this left corner. Um, anyways, let's go over uh, turn one. Turn one. Oh, here's my magic. I ended up taking Flaming Sword, Scorching Salvo, uh, Pyroclastic Flow, Enveloping Embers, Will of the Wisp, Bring the Pain, Wheel Turns, and Deceptive Glamour. Um, all right. <clears throat> so that's how it looks. Let's go over Vanguard. Vanguard, like I said, I'm going to just move my dogs here. And my other Vanguard, I move back like that. Turn one, orcs and goblins. Orcs and goblins. Turn one. Um, actually, I take it back. This is beasters. Beasters. Turn one. He moves his guys up like so, and he moves his guys back. Magic. He gets an eight on the flux. Goes ahead and he does healing waters on his on his chaff because he doesn't want his chaff dead right now. And it's gonna start off my turn. Orcs and goblins. Turn one. Orcs and goblins. Turn one. Um, I don't have a picture of my movement phase. But let's go straight into magic. Magic. I don't want the flux. Go ahead and I do a pyroclastic flow, and I just start picking wounds at these guys at the beast herds um these are like the longhorn ones with halberds so these are um wild horns i think they're, i think they're called longhorns um killed five of them uh go ahead and i do my doom diver into them as well i end up killing off three more then over here these guys are going to uh, bazooka and the horde are going to shoot into them and they end up doing four more wounds doing a good start pretty good start i would say uh let's go to turn two turn two he holy shit everything popped up everything oh well, i think there's only like one or two units that did not pop up on ambush um so here's the rest of his armies guys um there's these three blocks now the one closest to my dog is actually a mongrel unit uh the mongrels are like the cheapest beast monster there is uh there's another wild horn unit in the middle they're actually facing the ass end of my squigs and then he has another longhorn unit uh up there or i think those might be the, the like the actual horn like the the short horn one whatever they are the wild horns um so those are like the nor the core ones the ones in the middle are definitely the special ones and then the all the core ones are uh, these mongrels his dogs popped up right in front of the k-pack to block me from the doom diver and then he he popped out his giant block of mongrels down here as well right next to my doom diver and as you can see there's my dog right below <laughs> i told you i brought my dog with i brought my dog to the tournament she was just chilling the whole time anyways um uh that's about it he also popped up uh a briar beast the bri briar beast popped up in the woods and he has another unit with his shaman in it uh right behind my pyromancy this was a huge fucking mistake by me what i should have done on turn one was just move my pyromancy into the middle of the table so that he couldn't get 
any shots on me, but he's going to do his throwing weapons right behind my my wizard like so. Um, over here, these guys chaff my damn squigs, and that's how the table looks. Woo! Okay, let's go into magic. Magic, he ends up getting a six on the flux, goes ahead and he does oak and throwing on these guys, um, and then he does a healing waters to restore some wounds. Over here, shooting phase, these guys uh, are going to start throwing their bows, and not only that, but his freaking wizard has a breath weapon, and he's going to go ahead into uh, my into my uh, wizard and ends up killing my wizard with the breath weapon. Throwing weapons didn't do it, the dragon staff did. Son of a bitch that's turn two guys turn two god on turn two like my pyromancy would have been so huge with all his army popping out this is my own dumb fault this is my fault for not practicing or playing in so long that shit like this i would have caught before i didn't catch so let's go to turn two orcs and goblins so i'm gonna charge it to these dogs i'm hoping that the dogs panic the mongrels what i didn't know is that the mongrels are not insignificant and the dogs are insignificant so they don't care so i charge in like so i'm hoping that cause a uh, panic check right um i go ahead and i think i chaff the mongrels with my goblins on the left i forgot how what i did there no i chaff excuse me i chaff the mongrels and the wild horns with the dogs and i move my common goblins back a bit uh magic got a four on the flux go ahead and i do a uh not a bring the pain the other one the battle focus shooting battle focus shooting on the mongrels and i since i turn my um horde around i just shoot into them i got a shit ton of sixes i end up killing off look at this three six nine of them holy shit hoping to cause a panic they freaking pass it, you bastards. Over here, I'm going to start shooting into his other mongrels, end up doing two wounds. Over here, my Doom Diver misfires. Of course he does. And uh, that's how the table looks. Let's go start off turn three. Uh, Beasters. Beasters turn three. Um, of course, he's going to make the easy charges here. He's going to charge it to my dogs here that were blocking my flank of my savages. Charges in my dogs here uh, that are blocking my little squad. And they all get in, they all get in. Uh, and he obviously charged into my squigs. I want to say he charged the squigs, right? I charged him. I think he charged me. All right. Uh, I charged into my Doom Diver here. And he's hoping to overrun into my general, I think, and just hold up my general with Steadfast. Um, and then these guys here. Here. Doo -doo. Magic. Magic, you got a four in the flux. Goes ahead and he does stones. Get up on these guys, which is just a fucking pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. Uh, over here, he wins combat. He's going to overrun towards my guys. I don't even think he overruns. Maybe he did. I don't remember. Um, over here. <laughs> over here. My Doom Diver beat the shit out of three of the freaking mongrels. He goes ahead and he swings and he whiffs. He whiffs. And then I have an orc on there and the orc kills one more. <laughs> oh my god. So he has a charge. I think he did one wound. Maybe a banner. All right, so that's three. I did four wounds. I won combat. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, the funny part is this is not the only time the Doom Diver has done this. Uh, he reforms its ranks. Over here, he's gonna kill my dogs. Of course, he's gonna kill my dogs. He's gonna turn around. Over here, oh god, this should have been a lot prettier than it was. But my 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 squigs actually did a good chunk of wounds. Look at this. They did three six seven eight wounds uh he did a lot more than eight though i had originally 32 in this picture i ended up with he did looks like 13 wounds so i'm gonna lose combat my general is not close enough for a leadership bubble i'm gonna pop so when i pop boom i was hoping to take out the briar beast i did not i did two wounds to one one to another and i think i took out like another um uh longhorn Anyway, it's going to start off Orcs and Goblins turn 3. Orcs and Goblins turn 3. This is how the table looks. And you know what? I'm looking at that charge into the Briar Beast into overrunning into his General's block. If I can get into his General's block, that could be really good. That could be that could potentially win me the game. Uh, what else I see is my, since my Chariots... I actually turn my Chariots around after killing the Dogs uh, to face the flank of these mongrels here because if the, the mongrels on the doom diver, they're being held up and my, uh, and, and the, uh, bazooka and the horde are actually going to just come in and flank. So I'm thinking, okay, what if I charge my general in? What if I charge my, my savages in? So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do this. I'm on a three, two, one. Wog! I'm going to wog. I'm going to charge here into the briar beast, right? I'm going to charge here into the doom diver, uh, the fight. 
All right, I'm gonna charge here into his mongrels, which he's like, okay, but then he didn't see this. I'm gonna charge over here with my goblins as well to break his ranks. He won't be steadfast. Uh, this charge is gonna get in, obviously. Um, I think almost everybody gets in. The only one that I didn't charge was my general. Uh, and I contemplated charging my general long and hard about it, but if I failed it, I forgot why. I just needed my leadership bubble. I don't remember. I was just like, it, it might be better off if I just fly my general around. Uh, magic, go ahead and I do a bewitching glare onto his uh, unit that uh, the K Pax fighting. Go ahead and I do wheel turns onto, don't even know who I put it on. I think I put it on the same unit. I think I'm just going to win this combat. Uh, bring the pain goes off. I think everything. Oh no, wheel, wheel turns one over here because I want to wound him on fours, even though he's. Um, or he's gonna wound me. Uh, he's gonna hit me on fours and hit me on uh, wound me on fours, which is gonna limit how many attacks he's really getting, um, which is great because he normally would hit me on threes and wound me on threes, I think, or threes and twos. So this is actually pretty huge. He's gonna actually not do as many wounds to my savages. Um, over here, close combat. The freaking shady gets just ripped apart. These guys, um, and uh, we just win combat. They're gonna run off the table. I'm just gonna turn over on my unit. Um, over on the left side, over here, impact is. Boom! Took out two, four, six, eight. Only eight mongrels. That's not that horrible. Um, he ends up doing a wound out to my chariots, but I just wipe out the unit. I overrun. Boom! Right into the flank of his BSB's unit. I, you know, that boom was so like, oh, I'm gonna get this motherfucker, but th this doesn't go exactly how I planned. Um, and uh, turn four, turn four works. Uh, beasters. Uh, don't know what happened with the savages. I really don't. I, did we just not do that combat? I don't remember. Why is there no pictures? I don't know. Uh, but he's gonna try this flank charge here with his freaking uh, wild horn unit into my flank. He needs a ten. He fails it. He rolls a nine. Over here, these guys did charge into my doom diver, but it's fine because the doom diver hasn't done shit this game. Uh, fails that one. Gets in on the other one, obviously. Uh, magic, magic got a one on the flux. Go ahead and I do. He does a uh, healing waters onto these guys. Um, over here, close combat. He ends up just killing off my freaking doom diver. Overruns, uh, and he just falls short. He falls like a, he does a three when he needed like a eight to get into my general, because uh, he would have a charge, a flank, a big flank, uh, two ranks, banner. That's six, and he just has to challenge champ. I lose combat. I'll probably run. Um, over here, close combat. I end up doing a uh, killing off the back row, right? which is great with the impact hits, but it's not great enough. He's going to hold on a steadfast on this. He does kill off one of my, uh, he does six wounds. His BSB is fucking stout as hell. Does six wounds. Um, and, uh, I'm going to stick there. He's going to stick there, but he just turns around and it's just not a pretty, pretty thing. Uh, this, I was really hoping for this unit to pop and I overrun into the next one. Him sticking, it just put it in a bad spot. All right. Over here. Uh, let's see what's going on here. He ended up doing two, four, five wounds out to my Savage Orcs. My Savage Orcs go back and then <laughs> I end up doing four wounds only? That's horrible. Um, no, I did more. I definitely did more. I just don't have a picture of it. Because I ended up winning combat. Unless I, unless he did... Unless he did five wounds. And I did four, but I have two ranks and a banner, so I win by one. He does, his BSB is on the other side of the table. I think that's what happened. So he runs... And when he runs, uh, the reason why we didn't fight was because I, I hit him with the overrun on the Briar Beast. I just realized that. I killed the Briar Beast, I overran into this unit, and then it's his turn. Anyways, so he runs, I go to chase, and when I chase, I don't fucking catch him. He rolls like a 10, I roll like a 4 or something like that. I end up running into another Briar Beast anyways. Um, and it's going to start off, I believe, my turn. Orcs and Goblins turn 4. Orcs and Goblins turn four magic. I end up getting a five in the flux because everything's really pretty much in combat. Go ahead and I do some. Uh, what is this? What is this? I think this is shooting. I think I did uh, battle focus shooting on this unit. Then I shot him with the, uh, the bazooka and the horde. Um, yeah, bewitching glare. Um, over here, close combat. I end up doing two wounds. As you can see, I'm just doing like rerolls to hit everywhere. But I got two wounds onto these guys. They end up just killing off the K pack. Goblins are here just going to take the freaking charge on the next turn, but that's going to be pretty nasty. Over here, my savages ended up killing the other Briar Breeze that I overran into. Uh, the problem is I turn around and face like this, and, and my general is just in a shitty spot. My general, I don't know why my general was this far up. Um, that's my own fault. I was a little conf overconfident on my ability here, um, but we'll see if that's going to 
bite me in the ass in a minute. Over here he's going to charge into my squad. Over here he's going to charge into the Doom Diver. Over here he charges into my general. And basically he avoids my savages. He's like, I'm not going to fight your savages. He, that unit is almost depleted. That unit is almost dead. That's his general and a, one of the wizards in that unit too. Um, Magic got a three on the flux. Goes ahead and he puts an H spell up onto his fucking beast herds here. And I couldn't do shit on his Longhorns. Um, close combat. Or, yeah, close combat over here. I end up killing off two more. He still has his BSB swinging away. And, it's, and uh, they end up just punking me. I, I didn't have much there. I killed two. He probably killed, like, four or something like that. I run. He chases. He kills me. He runs me down. Right? Now, over here, close combat. My general whiffs. He only does two wounds. That's including the freaking wyvern. He goes back, and he just freaking racks up the fucking wounds, and my general just dies. Just dies. I think that's the first time he's died in uh, this tournament. He's died a couple times, but just not in this tournament, I don't think. Um, over here, uh, he overruns close to the Doom Diver. The other guys failed to charge into the Doom Diver. But uh, I think he just chased because... I th did I just die or did I lose combat res? I think I lost combat res because he had a charge. And yeah, I, th I think that's what it was. He has a charge, two ranks, and a banner two wounds that's six i did two wounds back so i'm I, I lose by four anyways so he he obviously ran my general down but he left me with a flank with my bazooka in the horde and this is going to be huge because i'm just going to go into his flank and destroy this unit right um magic got an eight on the flux goes ahead and i do uh bring the pain um, <clears throat> I, I do bring the pain and bewitching glare on this unit. I'm gonna just rack up all the close combat buffs I can. Uh, close combat, I end up just killing off. Look at this, three, six, seven of them. They actually uh, run. I will chase. He only did one wound back because of parry, and they they run that way. And I ended up just saying, um, I try to catch. I don't even think I try to catch him. I think I just left them there um, to block his next charge. Which this is the end of the game. Is this turn five or turn six? I don't even remember what turn this is. Didn't matter. That was the end of the game. Um, everybody else walked out of line inside of my savages, so my savages really couldn't do anything, um, and everything else is pretty much dead. So it was a really, really fucking bloody game. Um, it, the game would have been entirely different. He knows it. I know it. Um, the game would have been entirely different if we, if I had my pyromancy. Um, but my dumbass just gave away my pyromancy turn one, which was just oh, so brutal. Um, <clears throat> it was a fun game. Kenyon's a really fun opponent to play against, and it's it's interesting because the guy lives out in what California, so it's, I've already played him twice, and uh, I, I feel pretty lucky about that that I get to play people from all around uh, that I do. So uh, overall, MVP is probably my my little bunker here. My bunker of I mean the savages did okay, but they didn't capture the general. Let's look at points. Let's see. I actually did the points this time before. Did my homework before this time. Let's see. All right. Uh, yeah, Dread only got 48 points in killing two Longhorns. Uh, Baxter, the Pyromaniac, got 115. Bazooka, the Horde, took 530. They're pretty much up there. K Pack took 552. But I'm still going to give it to Bazooka and the Horde. They probably took the most. It was it was a really close game. It was 11 9. I think it was flag scenario. If it was flag scenario, I would have won the scenario, which kind of makes sense. It makes sense because. I killed more of his scoring units, he only killed one of mine, but he destroyed a good chunk of my army, and I barely scratched his, really. So, I, I probably won the objective, but he won overall, and he got 11 points. I got 9, um, which is fine, I mean, that's basically how it is. Um, there's not much I could... Uh, I, I think the big issue here was I should just move the pyromancy into the middle of the field so it wouldn't have gotten caught uh, as easy as it did. That's also my mistake for putting the damn pyromancy on a chariot that that week, you know. But um, anyways, live and learn. I still have another tournament where I play with the same list, so <laughs> you'll see how it go how it does there. Um, overall, I think uh, yeah, I don't know. I had fun with this. It was a fun game. Uh, anyways guys, I'm just rambling now. 
let's go ahead and finish up this video if you guys like this video hit like share and subscribe um, if you guys uh, would like to show further support you can always go to my patreon that I leave down below if you guys keep hearing my phone go off that is the juice crew chat or my family chat because uh, it's the 4th of July weekend this weekend and um, yeah uh, if you guys have any kind of list ideas actually I if you guys are on my Facebook friends or Instagram or whatever, and you guys have good ideas for Orcs and Goblin lists, I'm willing to hear right now because I am really trying to pull up a list that I could work with uh, for ETC. Um, we could bounce ideas off. That would be great. That would be awesome. Uh, any suggestion I'm open to is no wrong suggestion. I might not take your suggestion, but there's no wrong suggestion. Um, but I have uh, a couple ideas that I've been playing with. Uh, I tested a couple games against Octor. Phil Carl and uh, Charming Stellar, but I am still trying to get some games in to see uh, more or less what I could do uh, for a list. I, I this mix list that I'm bringing at this tournament, even though I'm doing pretty rather well, um, I don't think it's the same type of player as an ETC player um, because uh, you know it's just you're playing the best of the best of other countries, and uh, I kind of feel like this list that I brought. It's okay. It's a, a balanced list, um, but it has major flaws. It has a major flaw with the General Alana Wyvern. And it has a major flaw with the, the, the cherry character, uh, Pyromancy. Um, General on Wyvern, I love the General on Wyvern. Uh, I don't think he has the proper support to keep him alive. Um, he doesn't have any big monsters to screen him, and he's a giant target if the, my opponent has a cannon or uh, even alchemy, because I don't have a. Oh, fire ward save on him, but <clears throat> that's a story for another time. Guys, like, share, subscribe. I already told you the MVP. Until next time, guys. Take care. Oh, and by the way, <clears throat> this game put me at nine points, so I am actually like pretty high up there. Stop. I'm like tied for like second or third place, and uh, I'm getting my last game against Jeremy Gotchalk, who's running it for first place. Um, so basically, if I beat Jeremy Gotchalk, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. If I beat Jeremy Gotchalk, it really depends on what Mike Lies does. And Mike Lies actually wins huge. Mike Lies wins a 20. So even if I got a 20 on Jeremy, I wouldn't win first place. Just being honest with you guys. I probably would get second place. Uh, but it depends on how this game with Jeremy goes. Jeremy's actually in the lead. Um, so I could dethrone him or I could boost him. Depending on how the game goes, we'll see. Anyways, guys, till next time, take care and... Peace.